Antonia Kerrigan is standing by. Hello to you, Antonia. You're in St. David, just south of Valencia. Tell us about your surroundings. What kind of damage has the town suffered? Well, first of all, you have to arrive at this town uh, by car because they're keeping the roads clear for emergency, uh, sorry, on foot because they're keeping the roads clear for emergency vehicles. That's, of course, because search and rescue, as you say, is still ongoing. When we spoke to the police, they didn't want to put a number on the number of missing people, uh, but they said search and rescue continues, particularly in underground locations. And the things that strike you when you arrive here is uh, the number of cars overturned and piled up, uh, whole streets uh, choked up with overturned vehicles uh, and debris. Uh, we spoke to the mayor who said that flood water reached up heights up to two metres. So as you can imagine, absolutely nothing on the ground floor was spared, which means, of course, there are no shops. There's nowhere for residents to buy food. We're starting to see people come out to those ground floor shops, uh, trying to empty them out, shovel uh, the mud, uh, empty out that water uh, in the hopes of clearing up and moving on. But it's a long road ahead, huge infrastructure damage uh, and this thick layer of mud that covers pretty much everything in the town. Yeah, Antonio, we see that behind you. Everyone is on foot. There's this lack of supplies. You mentioned people heading to the stores. Any hope for supplies getting into Sedevi? Yes. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, we were we were earlier on. We were at an aid distribution point. It's a, a further education college that has been uh, turned to that purpose. Um, and we spoke to the mayor there, who said the town had two days without electricity. The water supply uh, remained intact to the town, but there was such huge property damage uh, to buildings and homes that the plumbing meant that many people in their homes could not have clean water. So huge uh, supplies of water and bottled milk inside. Uh, that supply centre um, and we also saw medical supplies arrive. We saw ambulance workers arriving with bandages uh, and medical ointments. Um, we have seen people gathering outside that distribution point since 8am this morning for a distribution that's going to begin uh, in about half an hour. That is of course because uh, people waited two days not knowing if that help would arrive and it finally has. Uh, now the one uh, slightly moving thing we've seen this morning is huge uh, numbers of people coming from neighbouring towns and Valencia armed with brushes, with rakes, with shovels, with buckets because they've come to help people of all ages as young as 16 we've seen and when they spoke to me they said there are just too many people in need of help to not be here today. Antonia, thank you very much. Antonia Kerrigan reporting from Cedavi, Spain.